Any sign of Sidron? Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Let's make this a short mission. All right? That's the plan. You're on the front lines now, Captain. Don't make me worry. Phasers should make quick work of the ice. I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some way to activate it. Look around. There must be some sort of hidden mechanism to trigger it. I don't see anything. Are you done? Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Thank you. Definitely easier this way. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. Do you know what this place was used for? It feels familiar, but I'm not certain. The Empire was vast. I did not know every corner of it. And much was built after I became a portal. However, Takan would not build such a place without something precious to protect. Whatever that is, we have to find it before Galvin does.
portal? What is that... void down there? Space, folding upon itself. A fairly simple concept. For a Takan, perhaps? I advise against falling in. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resolute. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Takan to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Soil. Just... Soil. It's not from this planet, nor any planet in the Federation database.
Why is this here? This is soil from the homeworld. Our capital system. This isn't an arsenal. It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Takan. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like this. You cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye forever. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takan Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it. I totally understand that feeling. It's unavoidable and inescapable no matter what you do. Yes. It's that distant but familiar feeling that's forever just out of reach. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. No. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship's schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up. I've seen these before, in the other vault. And if all of those are the same as this, then there must be... Hundreds of millions, if not billions. All that remains of the Dakon civilization. A distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. You thought this was an arsenal. And in a way, you're right. This is how they rebuild the Takan Empire, and bioform billions of innocent people. That seems to be the case. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization, as a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness or injury. They were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. This was always their purpose. To restore the glory that was lost. Please. 
Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. I was protecting my crew. It's regrettable to take any life. But when someone threatens galactic civilization, force is the correct response. And I suppose it worked. For now. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Aphelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. I realize you're here to gloat. And you seem pretty confident, but... I'm not gonna let that happen. It already is happening. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. You know that's a lie. We deny your right to steal the lives of innocent people against their will. We're offering them a chance to be part of something greater than you can even imagine. Which side are you on? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide, once we're safely aboard the Resolute. Forda transport. have to hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because of you. I committed mutiny for you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Aphelion, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. 
The Ophelian is coming into view now, Captain. On screen. at the second vault in less than a minute. I would remind you, those life forms are Takoth. Not science, Takoth. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. Did I hear that right? That's an order. The storage crystals are on board in our cargo bay. Thank you. I won't forget this. I hope you realize what you've done. We don't need another captain who's gonna risk our lives just to feed their ego. This ship and this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. We need Portal on our side. I'm not going to jeopardize that when I don't have to. So you jeopardize the rest of us. And to think. I used to look up to you. The Aphelion is targeting us, approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now! <laughs> 